To start the look, we're going to prime our face using the Urban Decay All Nighter Primer. We're only placing this on the portion of the face that's going to have the makeup, not the body paint. We're going in with foundation now. This is the Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation, and I'm just buffing this into the skin using a foundation brush. Next, we're going to go in with some concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape, and we're just placing this under the eye, buffing it in with the same foundation brush. And then we're going to set it using the All Nighter Urban Decay Powder. We're going to place this just under the eye, but feel free to place it anywhere you think that your makeup should be set. We're just doing some quick brows. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow, and we're just placing this only on one of the brows, again, where the makeup side is going to be. We're going to prime the eyes now using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Primer, and this is the palette that we're using for this look today. This is the Hyper Color Palette from Suva Beauty. This is such a beautiful palette. It is very pigmented, and here you can see it also looks great under the UV lights. Those top four shadows are actually UV activated, then there's also the topper. So I wanted to show you it under UV light and also regular light as well. Here are some swatches and they are absolutely stunning shades. So let's go ahead and use those shades on the lid. We are first going to start with that purple shade and we're just using this to buff it into the crease area and just really build up that color. Again, these are super pigmented so you don't need a lot of product. Especially this blue shade here, as you can see, I'm buffing this a little bit more into the crease and really blending it out with an eyeshadow brush. Next, we're going to cut the crease using that EBH eye primer and a small shading brush, just because I want a little bit more of a crisp, clean line for the next shade. We're going in with the pink shade from the Suva palettes and really just placing this all over the lid. I also added the white UV shade just to the inner corner, just to make it pop under that black light. Next, using another product from Suva Beauty. These are their UV water activated paints. They're so fun. This is in the shade Dance Party. Look at that under the black light. It looks incredible. I also wanted to extend that liner just to have a little bit more graphic design on the upper portion of the lid. And then I popped on some lashes. I actually quickly painted these lashes with a little bit of the blue shade from Suva Beauty just so they would pop under the black light. Now using the butter bronzer and blush from Physicians Formula, we're just going to bronze up the cheekbones and also add a little bit more of this blush to really just pop this on the cheeks. And now we're going to do some highlight. This is the Ofer Cosmetics Cloud 9 Highlight. And it has a nice pink shade to it that I love and think it goes really great with this look. And now we're going to move to the alien portion of the body paints. I'm just mapping out where the illusion of the hands are going to go. And then going in with tag body paints in black and green. And starting to outline the big eye that goes with the alien. And also the shape of the V on the face so that it looks more alien shaped. Filling in the eyes with all the black body paints and then we're going to go ahead and move on to the face itself using the green body paint from TAG and really just fill in this whole area. These are the main colors that we're using for the alien side itself. We're next going to bring that green paint down onto the chest to really map out where the alien's body is going to be. Right now we're just placing down the shades and we'll come back and do some actual shading afterward. Using this dark green shade from the colored Rain of Vivids palette, we're going to start to carve out those cheekbones even more on the alien side and make it look much more alien-like. We're also going to bring those shades around the eyes just to make them pop more and give them more dimension. And the deeper we go with the shades, I believe I used a black here as well, it's going to look even more carved out. And that's the look that we're going for. We're going to carve out our nose quite a bit and also go in with some black body paint to create the design of the alien nose and the lips. We're going to work a little bit on the alien hands using this eyeliner from Urban Decay. And we're gonna to start to outline all the alien fingers that has the illusion that it's coming up and pulling the face up. Very easy to use this liner. I use it in pretty much all of my looks, so I highly recommend it. It is also waterproof, so it stays for a long time. Now we're using that green shade again from the eyeshadow palette just to give the body a little bit more dimension and just really use it to shade. And then using the black body paint, we're going to just fill in the outside areas so that we look as though we have the illusion of just the small alien body on the chest. Once we're finished painting in all that negative space, we're gonna go in with a yellow neon shade from Tag and really highlight some of the areas on the top of the alien's body and the face. And then we're also going to do some more shading underneath the hands on the face to really enhance that illusion that the hands really are pulling up the skin. Focusing on the skin now, we're going to go in with this nude palette from ColourPop and start to really draw out the folds in the skin since it's being folded up. 
And then we're also going to have to do some highlighting as well. So using this clown white paint, we're going to go ahead and highlight above the skin folds to really create that illusion. The last step of this look is to create a reflection on the alien side's eye. So I'm using a Q-tip just to take off some of that black paint. And then I'm going to be going in with the UV paint from Fusion and white and just adding in those white spaces. Since this is the last step, next you'll just have to put on the black light and that's your final look. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!